Well, this spring and summer, flowers are blooming, the temperatures are heating up, and with that change comes that urge, that inner urge to lighten and brighten your home. I know that you've been feeling it because I have been feeling it as well. Teaching us how to do just that without ditching everything that we have is Susan Havlin, the owner of Poppy's Home Decor in Mesa. We welcome you to the show. This is your first time on the show. It's good to see you and yeah. meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks well, for you've got a beautiful here. spread, too. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about how the, the, these steps are to, to lighten and brighten because it does seem like we need to do an overhaul. It feels that way sometimes. Yeah. You know, spring is a great new time. To, it's kind of the rebirth, the freshening up of everything after the winter and everything. And everybody gets excited for the sun to come out and everything to lighten and brighten. And especially now with the colors and the trends and the way they're going, it's a great time to do that. So, you know, I just recommend that you start at your front door. It's the first impression. Just make that great first impression. And we've got a a wreath here. Well, let's slide this way. Okay. And then, so at the, the first impression is at that door. And look at that. That thing is absolutely stunning. Now, this is something fun you can take and color coordinate it to your favorite color, but just mm -hmm. give that fresh spring look. And we've added a butterfly and some greens and mixed it all up. And, you know, it's, it's perky. It gives you that great... That first impression. Yes. Okay, so once we're inside, mm -hmm. then we kind of st want to also incorporate some of the... The, the spring colors and the summer colors, which, you know, as we yes. just learned in that beauty segment, they kind of are, they, they can kind of go into both seasons, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And what's really fun is you'll, you'll see chocolates bouncing off all of the bright colors. If you've got orange or hot pink, fuchsia, mm -hmm. yellow, and you can pop that off. So you don't have to get everything brand new. You can just add a little bit of color to it. And today we've got a lot of fun things that I, I brought to share with you. Um, these are one of my very favorite things. And these are some lighted branches. Now this so we're literally one, light lighting right there. Yes, they're they're lit as you can see, and these are run by uh, the cord electric. Okay. Now these, on the other hand, are really fun. Okay. And um, so this we can take these. This is actually the color of my home. So we yeah. can take this and kind of marry it with something that's lighter, yes. and then still incorporate those lighter colors. Right. And this is the fun part. If you you can't see real well, but these do light up as well. All lit up. Look at that. And these are all battery operated. You okay. can just stick them in a vase and, and call it good. Another fun thing to do is to take, if you've got a sofa that you've had for a long time, mm -hmm, you can't afford mm -hmm. to get a new one, then you just take it out a fun pillow and bling it up a little bit. You can add a pin, you can add a magnet and safety pin it on, and, and you can do fun things like that. You can add clips. There's all kinds of fun oh, things. Oh, I bet there are some people at home whose daughters put these in their hair. How about yes. just adding that to a pillow that you already have in your home? With the color, yes. maybe change out the color, mm -hmm. add the floral? Yes. I like it. And you're good to go, and you've got something new, and it didn't cost you a lot of money to do something like that. All of us have lamps in our homes, and it may be just as simple as changing out the, the lampshade. Here we've got a really cute lamp. Burlap is hot right oh, now. Loving you that. You can bling <laughs> out your lampshades and really have a good time. You can see we've got some little bling going on here, a ruffle here. And then you can take and maybe do a magnet. This is a really cute uh, burlap pin, and you can just take and add some, some color pop oh, look to at that. that. And there you've got a new look. And it could be something that you've already had, and you just add a little flower to pop it. Okay. So let's talk about this little area over here. I'll let you stay right there. Okay. And so as we kind of bring it to a close, a lot of the areas in our home, I think, um, they're staples. Like I've got yes. ap apothecary jars. I know. That they, they were kind of the thing. I hope they're still in. They are Tell absolutely in. Tell me they're still in, Susan, because I invested in. in some. They so are what absolutely do we do in. And you can take and add ribbon. We've got little um, moss balls in there, and we've got lemons and limes. And this is the trick. And uh, you're probably going, what are you doing I, with I this? I am. I'm pulling it out because I'm thinking that's not supposed to be there, but apparently it is. So here's our apothecary jar. We added some ribbon. We've added a little magnet if we want a little bit of bling. Candy can get so expensive if you start adding it up and, and putting in the color and changing it out if you've got three to five apothecary jars sitting on your counter. So what you can do, depending on the size of your, your apothecary jar, it's a secret. Nobody will even need to know. Oh, okay. If it's tall and skinny, you can just use a paper towel inside or smaller. So we're not filling the entire thing. We're filling exactly. around it. Exactly. And then you just take and, and fill around that. All right. And then those citrus colors are obviously going to be very um, lighting. It's going to lighten and brighten your home as well. Yeah, and then it's fun. And then when you get done with it and the seasons change and summer's over and you're ready for 
all the fall candy corn, just stick it in a bag, put it in the freezer, and pull it out the next time you need it. And then you don't have to rebuy candy each Great time. Great idea, Susan. Thank you so much. Thank we you. want to let everybody know that if you don't have plans this weekend, Poppy's is hosting what they're calling a quarterly shopping event. It's called Petals, new merchandise. You're going to have access to some of the vendors who make these beautiful things that you've seen here. Door prizes, food and drinks, mini spa treatments, and discounts. So the hours are Friday from 4 to 8 and Saturday from 10 to 1. The address right there on your screen. And uh, more information is on our website, sonoranliving.com.